Hi, Nora Spangler here with Stellar Realty Northwest in beautiful Bend, Oregon. Today, I'm going to give you a real estate market update covering July and August and a little peek into September, what's currently happening. I'll also give you a peek into my opinion of what might be coming in 2025. What about inventory? Historically, over the past few years, especially during the pandemic, we had a hard time keeping one or two months worth of inventory at any given time. So that meant homes were selling super fast, single digit days on market, like five, six, seven days on market was very common over the past few years. We sort of normalized and our days on market have gone up and our inventory has almost doubled. So right now we have about four and a half months of inventory on the market, which gives buyers a lot more choice and it also means that sellers are willing to negotiate. So that is a great thing. I really do think it's a good time for buyers to get into the market right now, especially the winter before things kind of possibly heat up again next spring and prices go up. If interest rates really do continue to come down, then we're going to see all the fence sitters jumping back into the market, trying to get a home and we could end up back in the pandemic situation with multiple offers, home selling within a couple days of being listed and inventory dropping down again. So right now we have just over 700 homes on the market, single family homes only in the city of Bend. And that's more inventory than we've had in about the last 10 years, really. So ever since I started real estate, we've never had this many homes for sale. Um, and so it really seems like a great time for buyers to jump in. How long is it taking to sell homes right now in Bend? Well, our median days on market for July was in the low 20s, about 24. And in August, it went up to about 36 days, so taking a little bit longer. And the September number for homes sold so far in September through the 19th yesterday the days on market is 40, so it's still trending upward, which is totally normal. So if you're a seller and you want to list this time of year, you do need to expect that it's going to take a month, maybe two months to get your home under contract. Our pending home sales at 215 homes in August is up 30% from a year ago and up 9% from the month before, from July to August. So. That indicates still we have a strong market, even though it's sort of softer and a little bit sluggish. Um, we are still well ahead of last year in August for pending sales. And of course, those will become closed sales in the next month or two. And so I think we're still headed for a pretty solid, strong fall real estate market. The number of homes sold in July and August is down about 4% from July to August and August numbers were down about 11% from a year ago. So we are still in sort of, you know, a slower, softer, more sluggish market right now. And that is, I would say, mainly due to the interest rates that have been so high for so long. People have just stepped out of the market. Buyers are just waiting for interest rates to come down so they can jump back in. My last real estate update was for June of this year. And at that time, the median sale price was at a whopping $830,000. Now in the month of July, it came down a little bit. And boy, in August, we had another big drop in the median sale price, which is great for buyers. So what's the current median single family home price in Bend for the month of August? That number is $754,000 which is down about $66,000 from the month before. So that's about an 8% drop just in one month. But it puts us just about level with a year ago because as any normal real estate cycle in most areas, I think, but I only know um, how Bend is and it's very cyclical. So our prices do tend to rise in the spring and into the early summer months. And then they typically do fall in the fall and winter. So it's not surprising that in order to sell homes, people have been dropping prices and we have a lot of price reductions. So a general comment, if you're looking to buy a home right now, 
I would say don't wait until interest rates get lower. Um, if you're waiting for them to hit that 5% mark or even 4%, that's going to take quite some time. They're still a little bit above 6%, but the news flash for uh, yesterday or a, a few days ago was that the Fed did reduce their borrowing interest rate down by 0.5, a half a percent, which was more than we were really expecting. But mortgage companies already kind of pre-baked that amount into their interest rate. So interest rates have actually been falling and they're not going to take a big nosedive. So right now they're a little bit above six. And I would think that by next spring, maybe they could be below six, but they're not going to take a big dive. So if you're thinking about buying, my suggestion is get pre-approved right now. See what you can afford and, and have that as a starting point. And then a year or two rates are lower. You can always refinance, but make sure what you're purchasing, of course, is affordable for you right now. And there are deals out there for buyers right now. Let's talk about some other stats, which will indicate just the state of our market right now. Just a quick peek into September numbers. So I check the median sale price for all the homes that have sold to date um, as of yesterday in September. And that median price actually has gone up a little bit from what I just told you, the August number was 754. And so far in September, we're at 780,000 for the median. But when the month closes, of course, I'll do another market report and we'll see where we land. But right now, it's looking like our median sale price might go up in September, which would be a little odd. Typically, our median sale price drops in the winter. So who knows? We're in such strange times right now, it's really hard to predict what is going to happen. Let's wrap up with some information about what's been happening recently in September. So the first 19 days of September, we've sold 113 homes. And how many of those homes do you think sold at or above their list price? Put your guess down below. I'd love to hear what you think. The number is 25%. So 25% of those 113 homes sold either at or above the list, the original list price. Now that doesn't take into account when they lower the price, but their original list price. Now that means that 75% of homes that sold in September so far have sold below the original list price. So that is where all of those price reductions that you see online, you know, hey, price reduce, price reduce. Yes, um, there are a lot of those. And so that's why I'm telling you that it is a good time for buyers right now. There's enough inventory for you to choose from and make a selection, find a home that you really love and want, that you really desire to live in, and to get a good price, or at least some kind of a discount or some money back concessions, we call that, some money from the seller to help you pay your closing costs, your buyer agent fee if you're going to hire um, an agent to help you purchase the home. You as the buyer have to be prepared to pay your buyer's agent. Now, believe me, most of the time, I think the sellers are still going to be willing to help pay for most or all of your buyer agent fee. That's been my experience so far, even with this change that just happened in August. But that is something to consider. You wanna be able to get concessions from the seller to help you pay for things instead of paying out of pocket. So right now is a great time to get seller concessions. So that's my real estate update for July, August, and a little bit of September. I will be back here again next month and I hope you keep watching my channel. Give my video a thumbs up if you like them. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, give me a call, text, email, any way you wanna reach out to me. I'm always available to talk to you about buying or selling, moving to Bend. Thanks and I'll see you next time.